Right. So okay. basically the same questions. Yeah. Um, how would you reflect um, this weekend's uh, recordings? It's been good. It's been, this weekend's recording has been very good. It's been good, especially after two years to get back into doing it. I think it's been a... Uh, it's missed. But like, as... Since we, I spoke to Darren and we spoke about doing this weekend, I've been thinking about it all the time. Like, just driving in my car on the way to work, I'm thinking of ideas and I'm jotting them down on my phone and then adding them to the list. And I think just... I think it's just been good for us. You know, two years after not doing it, it's been good. And we've been, we were very, like, strict on ourselves. We were like, you know, we need to record, we need to, you know? Mm. And actually, from listening back to the what we got last night, I think we've done really well. Like, it's not like we, we didn't just record loads of songs. I mean, we recorded nearly 60 songs. And we didn't just record nearly 60 songs because we were just wanted material. But if you listen back, because we've had a gap, like, actually, out of those songs, the ones that are, like, pretty damn decent are at least half. The ones that are great, I would say, are the rest of them. You know? It's been... We, we've had, like, recording sessions where we've had amazing stuff and not so good stuff and we've been deleting things. And I just think, as a bunch of, sort of, a collection of material, we've done well. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um... Would you say anything has changed about uh, the duo's ethos? I don't think anything's changed. I think we're both doing full-time jobs. It's been a long time since we've recorded. But at the end of the day, I think... You know, me in my job, I've got to pretend to be sensible all day long. <laughs> and I don't like that. Because I feel the time when I'm most... I mean, I am me all the time. Like, everyone knows me. I'm me. I'm just relaxed and calm about things. But the time when I feel like, it's sort of like, um, it's, it's a scientific thing where they do like that kinetic writing, where basically you just write subconsciously. And I think the, the time when I'm most open subconsciously is when we're recording. Because it's like, Darren is playing, you have to think of something now. And, and it just happens. Um, I think we're just as connected as we was. You know, I mean... We're just listening to the subtleties, like Darren listens to my voice and I listen to his guitar, and we instantly know how it's going. Like, very rarely, I mean, we did a couple of times, you know, we're, we're sort of giving each other messages of how we want the song to go, but very rarely we do that. Most of the time it's just, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll sense how it's going and then I'll change myself or Darren will change himself, and we're just connected. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it's always good not having any sort of um, conflict. We always seem to know what our boundaries are and yeah, um, what we're about. We do, and I think we've been doing this long enough. Yeah. We've been doing this long enough to know that, like, it's a balance, isn't it? Mm. You know? Um, this you know, this, this new recording, Darren has had a lot more vocal input. And it's not like I've tried, stopped you from having vocal input in the past, but... It's just my, it was my own decision not we to. We made it aware. And then it was like, you know, when we were leading up to us recording a song, we'd have maybe a two second where Darren would play something and I'd start singing just to make sure it worked. Yeah. And then we'd always have to stop and be like, right, okay, now let's record. But the amount of times that it was like Darren singing, we were like, yes, it works. And then, and then I knew that in that song, you know, I could leave it to Darren and, you know, so um, how what can you what would you tell tell the fans um, about our new new, new material? What how do you, what would you, what could you tell the, the new material is very random, it's very eclectic. We haven't really got as many characters and things. It's sort of a lot more song based. Um, it's very much very much similar to the stuff we've been doing after say like Sheffield for the win. Sheffield for the win was a great album on the pure fact that it was like the old and new mixed. It was like the new songs, acoustic and all this, mixed with, um, you know, skits, really short things. I feel like this new stuff we've done is a lot of songs, but also we've got a lot of songs where we're like, you know what, let's just get to the joke. You know, we could have we could have had songs where we just went on and on and on and did a five minute song about this joke, but we thought, you know what, let's just literally do a verse or chorus. Because the verse builds it, the chorus is the joke. And I think that's a maturity in us. Because I think before, if we'd have got a great idea, we would have just 
done it for five minutes. Okay, it would have been amazing, probably. But I think we just, we're aware of it. Yeah. Um, I think for any fan that's listening, obviously, last night we went through the material, and I've been sort of, me and Darren together, chopped it up and moved around into what albums we wanted to have. I feel like I could have stuck it all in one album. You know, it would have been a stupidly long album, like two and a half hours. But I think by mixing it up and taking like one track, you know, say if we recorded three songs in a row, those three songs might be on three different albums. By by doing that, I think we're we're doing what we've always done, which is having like an era. Yeah. You know, if if we describe sort of like Viva La Cheese and Guerrilla Warfare, they're recorded basically at the same time, and the songs were just split between them. So that's why they sound similar. And I think it's the same. The Mo album was very on its own, but then we also recorded Marmalade Hosen very soon after. But they weren't. They weren't at the same time. No. Uh, but I think by having having like the tracks mixed between a few different releases, we're giving we're ensuring plus we're ensuring like the good content we've got is spread out. You know, we could have just said right, what's going to be a shit album. Or not shit, but what's going to be the one that's not so good? Yeah. And we could have put all the ones we weren't so sure of on that. But instead, we've got the songs that we've, you know, the great songs we did yesterday, and I've spread them out because it's all about content and it's all about making sure that we're keeping up with it. Yeah. So would you say the organisation of the band has changed at all, or would you say it, or it's just maybe to sort of matured? We yeah, we've matured. Um, we've definitely matured. But the organisation is basically the same. I mean, we've had a longer time to come up with ideas. Normally, I mean, the gap between recording would have been like a month, if that, maybe a couple of weeks. And, you know, whatever ideas we came up with would probably be ideas we had from, like, the time before that we didn't do. Mm. Or it would be stuff where we started to record something else and then we'd add to it. I think the organisation has been very... um, I mean, we both had a huge list. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, we did say, you know, we planned to just record as much as we did, as we could. And okay, we only got about halfway through probably both of our lists. But, that doesn't matter. Like, we, we did, you know, some, some ideas you come up with, they speak to you straight away. And when we went to recording, it was like, yes. And some ideas you come up with, you have to sort of remember what you thought when you came up with the idea. Mm. The organisation of the actual material, once it's done, is very much the same. You know, we did sit down... You know, we get this folder of just all of the songs we've done and we just sit down and sort it, you know? Yeah. Finding the sneeze was interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. Couldn't quite remember which song I sneezed in, so, but found it. Yeah. So it's good. So would you say there are any sort of defining moments throughout these weekend recordings that really sort of spoke out, sort of stood out for you? Um, I'm just thinking, I mean, this weekend's been great. And it's been really good for us to just be back in the recording zone again and getting on with it. And we've recorded so much like random content. And what I love, what always makes it worthwhile is when we finish a song and we both know it's good and we just like, we don't even talk about it. We just like sort of both say something like, yeah, something like that, that just confirms to each other that we're like, that is good. It's those, it's those kind of moments. I did love when we were recording, um, oh, sometimes shit sucks, and it's like, we just kept it going, <laughs> and it was like, that, that was the moment where it was like, we both were in on the joke, um, yeah, it's just been, I don't know, it's just been eclectic, and, you know, yeah. Yeah, um, so, um, where do you think the band stands now, do you think? I don't know, because... We, we spoke about this, me and Darren, we spoke about this, and we said, this might be the last. This might be the last recording session, might be the last release we ever do. We need to sort of speak about this, because it is getting more and more difficult for us to meet up. It's getting more and more difficult for us to find time, find the space to record, as much as we love it. Yeah. So we did speak about this. But I'm not sure right now, because after doing it, and after having like enough material, but we've also got sort of one album half empty, and we've also got still all the ideas. I don't want it to end, really. No. It's been I, a- I feel like I feel like maybe one day we do have to decide, and we do have to be like, which I did think was now. I did think maybe we have to just say, 
So would you say that the the, the recording session sort of reignited your love for for recording? I think so. I think so. Yeah. I think I think that I didn't really want it to end. No. Um. I didn't really want it to end. I just knew that at some point we have to admit when it has to end. You know, because it becomes more difficult to think of ideas. And I mean, to be fair, it's been two years. And before now, we had to think of ideas much more regularly, all the time, you know, months at a time. And we'd have a list probably half the size of the one we had. So it's taken us two years. And I think if we'd have, if we'd have had a shorter time between, okay, the ideas probably would have been more. But, yeah, yeah, it's definitely reignited. Okay, now it's your turn for a word association game. Okay. I'm going to say a word and you say the first thing that pops into your head. Yeah. Raspberries. Strawberries. The French. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, books. Reading. Suitcase. Packing. Walls. Upright. <laughs> uh, what could you say about the um, the albums and the artwork? And would you say they sort of represent the band? Um, would it, do they? Obviously, re- obviously, you know, I've been doing the artwork. Mm-hmm. It's been it's been sort of a joint effort. Like Darren's come up with ideas. Most of the time, to be honest, Darren's come up with the title, and I've done the artwork. I mean, sometimes I've come up. I think Slef Tilted was probably mine. I think, and a couple of others, but but mainly it's been Darren's done the title, I've done the artwork, and they sort of complemented each other. Um, the artwork's changed a hell of a lot. Like, I think in the beginning it was just sort of like, here is a pun. Um, it's sort of matured. There's been very different artwork. I mean, Genetic Strugfella, which is just mental. I mean, some of the new artwork, the new artwork is very... is a mix. Is a mix. We've got things that are similar to like the cast party trilogy you know where it's like character based images but then we've also got stuff like the album artwork which I made for our last release which references the whole lot you know and it's some references that like took me a while to think about like I had to listen to quite a few of the songs in in order to get things that were funny and most, most people I'm not sure will but it doesn't matter it's what we know. It's what we know. And it's, <laughs> it's for us. And it's for us to like, I just think if I, if I, if you know, if I look back in like 20 years or something, thinking about this time and I like look at that artwork, I'm like, shit, yeah, I forgot about this and I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, we've, 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 because we're recording so often, it's like the artwork just has to be one piece. A lot of bands, obviously, they make different artwork for promotion and this and that. And, like, we've never had to bother, which is good. Because, really, really, it's like... Right, we've recorded this album. What what do we think the artwork should be? Mm. You know? And when it comes down to it... Like, this is... Yesterday is the most material we've ever recorded in one go. And we've recorded, like, a fair few releases. And I don't think I've ever had to put together so much artwork in one go. But I'm very picky about when it comes to it. And I'll end up, I mean, I was sat on the sofa last night next to Darren doing the artwork for um, the one after the one before. And it's just, I'm just picky. And I feel like it's got to be, it's got to be different enough. And I just think like, if I, if I look at them all together, say, say if I go on my iPod and I go on the, you know, the um, cover flow. If I look at them all together, like I don't want to think, oh crap, that one looks, you know. I don't know. It's just my OCD when it comes to that. Yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with having some sort of direction. With no. You obviously have a vision of... Yeah. Um, shall I do the question where you ask me, like, albums and stuff? Or which favourite? Yeah, so... Um, could you sort of pick one, or would you, would you sort of pick an album which would you would you say sort of defines the band as a whole? I don't want to say the same as Darren, so I'm not. <laughs> because Mobile album is like... Where it happened. If it wasn't for the Moe album, we wouldn't have been doing this for so long. We wouldn't have, because we got to Pick and Egg Appreciation Society and it was like scraping the barrel. It was. And we both admitted that. The Moe album is like, shit, this is something new. 
Certainly, I won't talk about that because I really did. <laughs> My personal favourite album that I can just put on, you know, listen from start to finish without thinking anything is amiss. Sheffield for the win. It was just, I mean, it's the birth of the Trevors. You know, it's it's got that mix of like songs, skits, acoustic things strange voice effects which is what we always had in like the very very old stuff i think it's like if 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 i was saying to somebody like this is my band or like this is this is us i think i would show them that like it would be good for them to hear the other stuff but i think if they want to hear a blended down version of like what we are without giving them like a compilation i think that is good and i think it's it was so fun to record and it's just so fun to listen to. Yeah, I think upon reflection, it, the way it all sort of comes together is 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 absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's like a completely true, one hundred percent story of of us. I yeah. love that. And it's just it's just like I don't know. I mean, if I'm talking about track, Darren's mentioned my favourite tracks. Really, <laughs> another track that I think is just uh, where we push the boat out, and it was like this is like a different side to us, Mister Mac. Oh yeah. Because Mr. Mac is like, we done funny and like sort of what I call listing songs, where it's like we have a topic that's easy for me to just spew off sort of things. But Mr. Mac was like angry, and it was like the first time it ever got that crazy where it was like. But it was it was true to us, wasn't it? And it was like we were genu- generally like pissed off about this because the amount of recording sessions and material that we might have lost. Because of it, I mean, luckily we kept most of it, thank God. But it was, I don't know, it's just one of them songs. I think Marmalade Hosen's an alright album, but Mr. Mac is like... The pinnacle. The pinnacle. Of that album. Hmm. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's all, it's all, it's all great. It's all great. And when it's not great, we'll have admitted it's great. It's not great. But, cool. Yeah. Right.